Okay, another day, Ugh, another. It hasn't been a month. 2017 hasn't even gone through a month. And we're already going through this. All right, I know what we're doing next video. Hey guys, welcome back to Laughing Banana. So a recent article by BBC, oh my God, I love BBC, talks about a sad story with an even sadder ending. A British army officer had been diagnosed with breast cancer and she had undergone treatment. Fortunately, around that time, she was declared cancer free. Unfortunately, it did come back. Understandably, she tried to search everywhere for possible ways to find a cure and she did use the internet. She stumbled across an American writer named Robert Oya who wrote books about an alkaline-based diet which apparently was not only healthy for you but had the potential to cure cancer. For someone in her shoes, it was the call she was waiting for. In reality, this person's solutions and his cures and medicine was actually a mixture of water and sodium bicarbonate. Does that sound familiar to you? Because that's baking soda. Baking soda, I need baking soda. This poor girl put in all her time and effort to raise money, save up with her family to $77,000 US or 62,000 British pounds to pay for these treatments. You know what she paid for? A goddamn odor remover for your fridge. Thankfully, Mr. Young is now under investigation and being charged for two counts of practicing medicine without a license. It was also revealed in court that his PhD, it was bought. Where are these people coming from that buy these degrees on paper and then come up with these theories of weird things and they just tell you that it's good and it's gonna save your life? Let's talk science for a bit here. If you remember chemistry in high school and your pH scales, water has a pH of seven. Your blood has a pH of around 7.4, which is considered alkaline or basic. So in that logic, being alkaline kind of makes sense. But your body knows how to control it. Your stomach has a pH of around two, so it has a difference between water of about five. But don't forget each point means 10 times more acidity, which means in total it's 100,000 times more acidic. If you wanted something properly alkaline, you would need something with the pH level of something like say 13 to 14. I can think of something off the top of my head bleach. So for these people who believe in alkaline diets and all that stuff, that should be their go-to thing. It's an easy household item. It fits the bill for what they're looking for. So you should just chug away. Please do not chug away. And the thing is, I've been exposed to this too. I met someone in one of my past jobs that believed in this alkaline stuff. He thought that, oh no, acid is evil, and oh no, and you gotta alkalize all of your stuff, man. Yeah. Unfortunately, a lot of our customers actually believed him. Now, he was my manager, so it was kind of awkward. I didn't want to just kind of tell him he's completely wrong and, and kind of dumb, but... He's stupid. Oh, Patrick, let me tell you about this alkaline water. It is so good for you and so healthy. Oh, we have too many acidic things that we have in our lives. So you need to have more alkaline in your diet. Some of the worst experiences of my life. Alkaline is also referred to as basic. So I guess it kind of fits for you, you basic ass motherfucker. In summary, an alkaline diet is not a proven method to cure something like cancer and the health benefits that they talk about, especially the ones explained by Ouyang in this article, make absolutely no sense in a scientific manner. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe if you wanna see more of my content. Other than that, see you guys next video.